Example A in Scribe Quadrilaterals uh, asks us to find the values of some missing variables. So we have to find the value of the number of degrees here for x, and then y, and then x and y over here, and also z. So let's start over here on the left-hand circle. We're looking for the number of degrees incorporated in this angle right up here. And since this is a quadrilateral here, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is obviously inscribed within this circle, then we know that the opposite angles total 180 degrees, which means that x plus its opposite, or 80, equals 180. So obviously we'll subtract 80 from each side, and we get x equals 100 degrees. Yeah? And then for y, y is opposite 71, so we know that y plus 71 degrees equals 180 degrees. So we subtract 71 from both sides, and we get y equals 109 degrees. So y here, 109, and x, 100. Okay, then for our other circle, uh, first thing we can do is find, well, z is pretty easy. z and 93 will total 180 degrees. So we have z plus 93, oops, 93 equals 180. So that's going to be 80 and then another 13, so what, 87? Yeah, z equals 87 degrees. So that one's pretty quick. And then the other one is a little bit tricky. We need to find first the measure of this angle here, and we're going to find that one by using our trick from the uh, previous lesson, where we know that an inscribed angle represents half of its intercepted arc. And x intersects here and here, so its intercepted arc is 58 plus 106, or 164 degrees, right? So these two together, here and here, here are 164. So that means that x is half of that, or 82 degrees. And now that we have x as 82 degrees, we know that x plus y, which is its opposite, is 180. So we have y plus 82 degrees equals 180. So y equals 98 degrees. And that's it. Take a look at example B. Example B asks us to find x and y. So here we have 105 degrees, and its opposite is 7x plus 1. So let's start with that. So we know that 7x plus 1 plus 105 equals 180, right? Those are two opposite angles in an inscribed quadrilateral. So we'll subtract 105 from both sides. And we'll get 7x plus 1 equals 75. Subtract 1 from both sides. And we get 7x equals 74. So now we just need to divide both sides by 7. 7's cancel. And x equals about 10.5, 10.57. So x is 10.57. So then we know that, well, we also know that 4y plus 14 is added to 7y plus 1 to get to be 180. So we can do that the same way. Let's go ahead and calculate that. We'll leave the x value down here on the bottom. Think. So we have 4y plus 14 plus plus 7y plus 1 equals 180. We'll combine our y's. We have 4y and 7y. That's 11y. And 14 plus 1 is 15. Subtract 15 from both sides. Get 11y equals 165. And y then divide both sides by 11. y equals 15 degrees. So we have x is about 10 and a half, and y is 15. All right, and then example C. Example C says find the values of x and y in circle A. Well, this one's pretty quick. Again, we have an inscribed quadrilateral. 1, 2, 
3, 4 points. So x is opposite 108. So we have x plus 108 equals 180. Subtract 108 from each side. x equals 72. And then y is opposite 88. So we have y plus 88 equals 180. So y equals 92. That was pretty quick. And we're done.